A pleasant surprise is on the horizon. Guess what? Lisandro Martinez could return to Manchester United sooner than you expected. Welcome to the United Road Sport. And here is a quick update on our most important player, Lisandro Martinez, who has been out. Earlier, uh, earlier reports had suggested that he could only be available for the Liverpool game that is next month. But guess what? After cutting his trip with Argentina short, he did return to Carrington, and as we speak, Lisandro Martinez is training seriously with a few teammates as the international break goes on. Those who did not go for international beauty are working their legs off, they are running their lungs out to ensure that they are fully fit in time for the trip to Brentford as we do come back to put our chest for a top four finish on. Well, that is the heart of Manchester United. We've seen this from the captain, Bruno Fernandes, who requested to leave Portugal, return to Carrington and prepare for the game against Brentford. We've seen this before again from Bruno, almost injured, but he forced himself to be in the squad and play for Manchester United. Well, these players are beginning to believe and they're showing character now. But let's focus on Licha. Now, Lisandro Martinez, it has been said that uh, he has uh, said he is pushing, he's pushing 100% to be able to come and not just sit on the bench, but play reasonable minutes against Brentford. Because, guys, we do know how much important Lissandro Martinez is, not just in the training. Eric Ten Hag said in, a, in an interview with Rio Ferdinand, Eric Ten Hag said, he, Lissandro Martinez sets the standards. Him and Casemiro set the standards in training. But on the pitch, we saw how everyone was engulfing him when he was down before he was later on first off uh, in the last game he played. Uh, he's such an important player for Manchester United that we, if we don't have him, we struggle. Well, we might manage to win a game, but we struggle. Lissandro brings a lot of confidence, not only in the fans, not only in the, uh, in the manager, but in the teammates as well. So this, for me, is the biggest, biggest motivation we shall have as we return from the international break to go for that marathon at the tail end of the marathon that is trying to see us get a place among uh, the top four in the Premier League and also win the FA Cup. So, uh, Lisandro Martinez uh, has, of course, uh, uh, his injury was a bit of a concern, but I think what they had to do was to uh, be a little uh, uh, precautious, take precautions with him, be careful with him, and slowly but surely he would be getting back on his toes now. He's back and ready to return now. Brentford, remember, we've got concerns uh, as he does return, of course, uh, with Harry Maguire, not sure if he's going to be there. They are scanning him and, and, and checking him. Uh, Johnny Evans also, we, are, we have been told he could be returning uh, on the 30th as well against Brentford. But we know that Johnny Evans is 36. And for a 36-year-old player, you don't really know what is going to happen. So you want to have your best centre-back available. Uh, you want to have him available. Varane has, saved, has, has helped us. He's not getting injuries lately. So Varane is always there. We might get a chance to see Varane and Lisandro Martinez play together for the first time in a long time. If not, if Eric Ten Hag opts to not go, to not risk with Lissandro Martinez, we might see Lissandro, we might see him come on as a substitute because usually what Eric Ten Hag loves to do is if players have been out for some time, they have been injured for some time, he wants to reintroduce them with first a couple of few minutes, then later on come brings them on, uh, brings them on for, 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 uh, for a full time uh, of to, to, to start. Uh, the entire game but either way martinez return is not just about the performances he gives on the pitch it's about how he lifts the entire manchester united fraternity uh, from all facets of the football team from the owners to the manager to the assistant coaches to the fans to the players knowing your most important player is back is always going to be a huge 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 boost in confidence so big stuff uh, that uh, that is happening for manchester united but the reality, though, is uh, uh, with money with Ineos right now and what they are trying to do. Of course, we know that they are trying to talk to players into contracts, extensions, and all. And of course, Lisandro Martinez is one of those players they are happy with. But the thing is, they are also trying to get to the bottom of these injuries and why these players are getting injuries left, right, and center. And I read somewhere that uh, apparently Ineos do think that uh, this, the lack of a, a, a precise playing style is partly to blame for the so many injuries we get because players, I mean, I, 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 it, it's, I, perhaps it's so scientific, but it can make sense that if you're playing football without a proper, clear direction of where, how you want to play, how, what you want to do, how you want to win games of football, players are going to end up just fighting and fidgeting to be able to 
perform in, in, in no structure. And this is going to, imp to affect their bodies in a way. So it is said that with Dan Ashworth coming in and whichever manager they will bring in, or if Elgin Hag stays, if the structure is put right, there is a feeling, there is that feeling that maybe even these injuries will reduce because then it will be easy for players to execute because they will know what, the, what is expected of them. There is a clear direction, a proper explanation. I'll tell you, uh, in these meetings that United has, uh, play, clubs have meetings. I was hearing Kyle Walker talking about how they have a meeting every day at 10.30, have a meeting with Pep Guardiola. In all these meetings that these uh, players have, that these teams have, I think it's, uh, it is only right that mm -hmm. they, they have a clear structure mm -hmm. and proper understanding of how they want to play so that every time when they meet, they just discuss how to improve playing in that structure. Now, with Man United, you clearly see that's why we are so inconsistent. The lack of the clear playing style is forcing players to run left, right, and center, forcing players to grind and train hard and all, but without a proper structure, your bodies are going to be affected. So I, 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 I read this somewhere and I thought it made sense that scientifically you think about it and you're thinking, if I am a footballer, think about it. Put yourselves in, uh, in, in a footballer situation. You're a footballer and your, your job is to play football, but you don't know what style of football you're playing. You're just going to come out there and run and train. You don't know whether you're doing well enough. You're going on the pitch. There is no clear direction of where you're headed. It's always going to be confusion for you and your body. Your body is what carries you as a footballer. It is going to, if your brain is not uh, directed where, at where it's want, it wants to, to go, it won't take your body anywhere. So your body will struggle and inevitably you will be affected. So that is part of why these injuries are happening. So if the structure is put right in place, then these injuries are going to be less. I mean, if you played football before, I remember as a child, we used to play 3-5-2 with my you know, uh, childhood boyhood manager or coach. And we knew, we came to training, even if you were, you were a bit sick, it was easy for you to play, even if you were weak. You would conserve your energy because you had an understanding of what kind of football you want to play. I used to play uh, a uh, on the left, a wing back or... Uh, or, uh, or a holding a blocking midfield on the left. But I would know, even if I'm not uh, so fit, I would know that my job, if I'm blocking on the left, my job is to run from the left-hand side on the pitch, don't cross into the other side, be this side and block passes and play short passes to a schema who is better with long balls. Or play the ball in the corner flag for the person who is playing on the left wing to catch the ball and swing in crosses because with a 3-5-2 mostly you're playing with crosses uh, sw being swung in. If, I, if, I, if I, I was the one playing on the uh, left wing, I would know that my job is if we get the ball, go wide, as wide as you can, then the person in the midfield as the schema, whoever will pass that ball in the corner flag and my job would be to sprint, get it and cut back or swing across or for, for the strikers. If we don't have the ball, my job is to come in, uh, come, come back and support the, the left back. If we are starting the ball, go ahead. I mean, if there is a clear structure, a clear system, a clear understanding of how, what you want to play, how you want to play it, players will conserve energy, their bodies will be less strained, the injuries will be less. So that is, I think, for me, uh, one of the problems we've had. And I think Ineos are clearly, uh, clearly know what they're doing if they're beginning to figure out these things like this. They clearly reason like they, they know a thing or two about football. So that's the situation. Uh, but uh, with Lisandro Martinez's return, prediction of uh, the line, of course, it's early days for us to go into the prediction for the team because between now and uh, Sunday, we'll, we'll, give, we'll be getting some more updates in terms of players who is fit and who isn't. But uh, what I know is that Rasmus Hoyland will be back and better uh, in terms of uh, fitness because the last game against. Uh, Against Liverpool, it wasn't his best of games because of I mean, what he was just returning from injury. But he should be back and better, hotter, and be able to come and uh, properly compete. Uh, then uh, Casemiro as well is likely to return. He has been training by himself as well, likely to be back in the team. So I think the whole, uh, after the international break, probably the whole mood around, uh, around Carrington and the team will be better. And we should be able to confidently go out there and believe and hope and expect that we can put on a good show, a good show that will see us, uh, you know, uh, do beat this uh, Brighton. And if we do that, 
building on the game against Liverpool, trust you me, top four can be real because the guys above us are not exactly uh, doing that well. Welcome again to the United of Sport. My name is Webb and that was my pleasant surprise, my pleasant update about Lissandro Martinez. Many of you have been asking me about him, but as it is now, it is highly likely he will be in the squad to face Brentford on the 30th of this month of March. My name is Webb. This is the United Hotspot. Subscribe, guys. And I do remind you as well, if you're in Uganda, buy a nice shoe from the shoe box. These are strong leather shoes uh, for you to buy for your kids. I've got kids' shoes, but we've also got sneakers as well. These are those you can go online on Twitter, Web Daniel Sebachi J, and everywhere. You can order on Twitter, on TikTok. You can order for sneakers. Even this is you can order, uh, you know, online. Uh, but we've got so many shoes for you uh, to step like a boss with the shoe box. My name is Web. I'll catch you later. Bye bye.